We are right here at the Muritala Mohammed International Airport Road. The airport is back to life, entertaining international travelers again after six months of restriction due to COVID-19 pandemic. Lagos State Government has been working around the clock with the federal government to ensure safety and compliance at the airport. This is Inside Lagos. Amade Doja. Salam Adeni. As global community is racing towards altering the spread of COVID-19 pandemic, many countries, including Nigeria, began to reactivate the economy with the resumption of international flights in the country after months of closure. Before the flight resumption, the Lagos State Government had been working round the clock with the federal government to put safety protocol in place and drive compliance at the Muritala International Airport, Lagos. Governor Babajide Sonwolu met with the management of the Team Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria ahead of the reopening of airspace for international flights. The governor made known the development activities embarked on by the state government to ensure travelers have better experience while passing through the airport. The effort of the state government in promoting and improving the state is a highly commendable one. The various infrastructures and completion of projects in the state is an attestation to the delivery of the mandate by your government to the good people of Lagos State. We are particularly excited about the Osho Dia Jawa Road to the Mursala Mohammed International Airport, reconstructed by the state government. We thank you for that also. The Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria is a federal government parastatal and a service organization that is managing 23 commercial airports across the six geopolitical zones in Nigeria. We cannot underscore the contribution of Mutsala Mohammed International Airport in respect of the revenue which contributes to about 70% of funds revenue and it is a major enabler for investment into the country and Lagos. We must also remember that Lagos and the airports, our destinies are already mixed and intertwined together. We cannot separate the airport from Lagos State and Lagos will do utility and improvement and development. And Lagos is very prosperous. We cannot imagine Lagos State without Mutsala Mohammed International Airport. An airport is a gateway that defines the nation. You know, people come to the airport and they make a conclusive diagnosis, good or bad, about what to expect. A lot of people will come, especially on business, one day, two day. They do not have the opportunity to go around the country or the city it's from their hotel to their meeting room and back to their airport, and that's it. So, so you are sort of an important gateway that we need to speak and reflect what we all stand for as Nigerians. So what do I see? I see an asset that you said is about 40 years old, but I see an asset that you, indeed you can still sweat a bit more. I'm aware because in my consulting years, I'm aware of the amount of infrastructure that you have beneath that parking underneath, that massive over 10,000 square meter of real estate that you have sitting where, you know, the planes, where they, where they, where they park. I'm sure there's so many things that we can think and do with it. I, I can imagine what state that place is, but it's your, it's your responsibility. It should be the responsibility of the management to bring about a plan, a, 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 a refurbishment, whatever it is, what was the proponent, what was it set up to do? You know, let's go back to the original and let's see if we can make it that experience. That's number one. Number two, Nigeria is the biggest, not only by population, but economy in the whole of West Africa. We don't need to have a career. We just need to become an enabler. 
So we indeed can be a West African, truly West African hub, where people can come and do their transit and stay one day and stay 12 hours and have an experience while they're at our airport and they come and, um, and, and go to their other places. I know there was some conversation around you get on top of where you have as that those long places, take them up, create an ambience, lounges where people can come and do 10 hours, six hours, four hours of connectivity to other West African countries. And you see the traffic will come. You see people who truly want to make it and hop, they stop over and take other passengers in and out. And it becomes something that can happen. That way, not only will you triple your revenue, indeed, that experience that they are meant to make they'll begin to make it. And that way, you can actually have a lot more shoppers. You can actually have an airport supposed to be a free trade zone, as it were. Uh -huh. So you, you have the free trade zone status that you can indeed implement well. You know, I mean, in Dubai, you see, you can buy a free car and you can take it wherever you want to take it to. So that is the kind of experience I want us to have. Governor Sonwolu also made a case for the provision of fast, free internet connectivity at lounges and the airports. I think that the era of passengers sitting for long without internet access has passed. We know that security and safety is paramount. You know, uh, those little luxuries too are perception. You know, and perception too sometimes also it's important so that people also when they leave, they are also their ears and your 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 mouth and they can carry the information, you know, along. Uh, we'll continue to collaborate with you. Um, I'm a lover of the airports. I have been involved in the privatization, several attempts, you know. Um, so so I, I, each time I go to the airport, I actually look around. You know, that's why I can make a whole lot of the um, observations that I, that, 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 that I did. And I will continue to do. By the way, I will continue to observe, I will continue to monitor, and I'll continue to um, encourage you because it's only by doing that that um, um, we can continue to raise up that service and that quality of, 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 of efficiency that we we'll expect um, from citizens. The Lagos State Government has always been a strategic partner of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. Last year, the state completed a rehabilitation of the 5.7 kilometer airport road from Oshudi to ease vehicular movement around the airports. And the Lagos State Government has expressed satisfaction at the level of preparedness of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria as international flight resumes at the Mori Salah Mohammed International Airport. The Deputy Governor Obafemi Amzat made this known while inspecting facilities at the airport last week. The Mutala Mohamed International Airport, Lagos, came alive as international flights operations resumed. Several flights are flown into the country after the first flight, a Middle East Airlines Flight 571, carrying 222 passengers and 17 crew members from Beirut to Lebanon, landed at about 2.18 p.m. on Saturday. It was the first international flight to arrive the country since coronavirus-induced restrictions came into effect five months ago. The airport is wearing a new look with all COVID-19 protocols in place to ensure social distancing, fumigation of luggage and foot as well as hand sanitizer dispensers mounted at strategic locations. Inside the terminal, check-in counters have been partitioned to prevent airline staff having contact with passengers. Other measures put in place are wash and basins, automatic sanitizers, thermal cameras, mobile self-check-in counters at different locations at the airport. The Deputy Governor of Bafemi Amzat, in company of some state officials, inspected the airport and expressed satisfaction with the level of preparations by the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria to manage travel activities in line with the coronavirus protocols. Watch your mask, watch your mask. Go, 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 go. Don't wait.
As you are aware, well, we've opened the local airport and we've been doing domestic flights. So we are now starting the international flight. So Lagos State Government is just checking along with FAN to see our preparedness. And that you can see, we enter through the normal entrance gate where you have temperature checks. And it's, a, it's not one-on-one -on -one temperature check. It's the type that can cover a lot of people. We are able to see it and it detects your temperature. If it's higher than the acceptable level, it will, it will flag it and then you'll be taken aside. And then you can also see at the various locations, there are uh, marks that identify the different distances, minimum two meters that people will stand on. So the preparedness, based on what we've seen today, is there. Fan is ready. The, our airport is ready. The only thing is people just need to follow instructions when they come in. The facility is ready, it's prepared, but people must still follow that instruction. So when people come in from their flights, there will be staff that will direct them what to do, how to do it. We must just listen to the officials. If we do that, I think we are safe. Our primary responsibility within the terminal, apart from the safety and security aspect, is also the insurance of very effective and efficient facilitation. Now, for those that are physically challenged, ours is primarily to ensure that our, when you transit from one area, maybe from the entrance to the check-in, check-in to the waiting hall, waiting hall to the boarding gates, the facilities make it possible for you to seamlessly transition or be transitioned across these uh, different areas. Meaning, we have places that are steps, and we also have alternatively uh, by the side places where you can just roll down the wheelchairs and roll like a ramp to bring down the uh, physically challenged passengers. So our facility is le in Lagos has that uh, capability. There are no issues. What the passenger needs to do is uh, your contact is with your airlines. So if you are physically challenged coming to Lagos, what you need to do is let the airlines know ahead of time. The airlines inform their handlers and if there is need for additional support from FAN, FAN will be contacted by the handlers themselves so that we can effectively work with them to make sure that there are no challenges or discomfort for the ticket holder. Documents for entering have now gone beyond passports with visas, work permits and other immigration papers. All intended passengers are required to have as part of their documents for entry a negative coronavirus confirmation chain reaction test results done four days or 72 hours to departure. Before boarding, passengers are requested to upload their negative PCR tests results on the national payment portal for presentation at the airport either in hard or soft copies. 13 airlines have been approved to commence operations into the country. Nigeria suspended all air travel on the 23rd of March in compliance with restrictions aimed at slowing the spread of the virus. In June 2020, Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, presented a staff of office to Abduasiu Omogbolaon Lawal Abishogun as a second and the new owner of Iru land. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, the event was marked in low key. <laughs>
To maintain the physical distancing, K1 the Ultimate entertained the guests from Ijebode in Ogun State through virtual means. 50 year old Bola Onlawal is from the Ojora Arumire Abisogu branch of Oniru Royal Families of Lagos State. <laughs> The installation rite of His Majesty Oba Abdul Wasiu Omogbola on Lawal as the 15th owner of Iro land in Lagos State reached its peak with the coronation reception and public presentation of the kingdom in signal on Sunday. The event held at the Iro Palace on Victoria Island was marked by a parade of royalty and culture. <laughs> VIPs, administrators, and politicians led by the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Ashiwaji Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, and also Lagos State Governor Mr. Babajide Samulu graced the occasion, which was also attended by the traditional rulers within and outside of the state, including the owner of FIFA, Obaini Togunwusi, and the representative of Oba of Lagos, Alailua Riliwan Akiolu. His Royal Majesty. Abalawa, a three-time member of the State Executive Council, unveiled his economic development plan for the kingdom. The blueprint, the monarch disclosed, is tailored to reflect the deliverables of the team's agenda of the Somulu administration. To say that today is a special day will be an understatement. Today begins another significant chapter in the annals of our beloved Euroland, as well as my life's journey. This personally brings to my mind the complexity of life as espoused by the famous Gartenis when he said, and I quote, does the worker choose the path or the path the worker, end of quote. I am convinced that all these were in Allah's predetermined plans to make us as pencils in his magnificent hands. I started from the palace, 1977 precisely, then went outside of Lagos from place to place, only to arrive back here in the palace where I will remain until I join my ancestors. The reaction that has so far trained my proclamation, proclamation as the 15th owner of the land is an affirmation that it is only our creator that truly crowns a king. Let me assure you all that I will not take your support for granted and I will remain a true representative of your interests and aspirations, leading in equity, justice and fairness for peace and posterity of everyone. I shall also continue to align with the vision of our forebearers, especially the immediate past Onero, late Oba Idogu Abiodo Nero, for a cosmopolitan thriving and prosperous Lagos. Again, let me urge you to continue to pray for all of us, and especially for me. Whatever your religion or belief, please pray that the Lord Mary continues to give me wisdom and strength to carry on the wisdom of Solomon and the strength of David. I will always be an accessible and listening monarch, one that is compassionate to the welfare of the people. This is 
passport at night while walking with my father. Ashua Jubala means to open the policy. That is exactly what I bring to bear. Governor Babajide Sonwolu, represented by the Deputy Governor Dr. Obafemi Abzat, commended the monarch for keeping the peace and for sustaining the efforts to unite members of the royal families after ascending the throne. I congratulate him on the ascension to the throne of his forefathers and wish him prosperous years. During the installation ceremony, I recall enjoining His Royal Majesty to strengthen the existing bond of unity within Iru land for the overall development of and peace and progress of this kingdom and Lagos state in general. Three months on the throne, I'm pleased to note that KBSC took this advice to act as exemplified by his very impressive actions characterized by wisdom, knowledge, and large art adherence. My advice to all sons and daughters, as well as residents of Iru land, is to continue to turn very firmly and united behind His Royal Majesty in order to advance the development and prosperity of this kingdom for the benefit of all. I have absolute confidence in the ability and capacity of His Royal Majesty to bring about greater transformation that will benefit everybody and further reposition in land within the matrix of development in Lagos State. The APC national leader said the event should signal an end to tussle of controversies that trailed the selection of Obalawal as Oniru, saying it was time the kingdom moved on. He vouched for the leadership qualities of the monarch, pointing out that Obalawal had enormous capacity to endure, learn and listen. How well you focus on the development and progress of Iru land is in your hand. You can't achieve it alone without the support of the government. You can't achieve it without peace and understanding. We have seen Lagos progress. I'm very proud of you. I am very proud of the courage the other we are celebrating today. In fact, we started together, he endured, he learned, he listened, he's caring, he's very honest, he's very reliable, very dynamic, he listened to the That's why I'm here. Very, very proud of you. But that pride is diminished. Only when you are not working together, when you are not part of the redirection, steadiness of the ship of Lagos State, particularly Oniru land. Today, I say congratulations. The grand spectacle emerged as the monarch unveiled the traditional insignia of the kingdom which reflects Iru culture and its dominant means of livelihood. The signal depicts fishermen, new warrior leaves and the iconic Iru crown in golden hues. <laughs>